This flashing green man has a special meaning for every operationally ready National Serviceman or NS man. When it shows up on their television screen, they will respond to the call of duty in a matter of hours. As a deterrent force, you have to be able to mobilise your troops at a short notice and in sufficient numbers to actually make a difference. The mobilisation system has evolved and the processes have been streamlined over the years. In the past, NS men had to report for mobilisation at various schools and camps, after which they would have to collect equipment from various locations before returning to their mobilisation centres for equipping and force preparation. Under the new system, NS men now report directly to mobilisation and equipping centres or MECs. The ammunitions and other supplies they need are pushed to them in pre-packed modules. The NS men will get everything they need at one location before they go into battle. Let's take a quick look at what happens when an NS man reports for mobilisation. At the in-processing stage, the NS man's attendance is registered and he receives his mobilisation card and a customised equipping list of the relevant items he must collect. He then moves on to weapon and equipment issuing counters where he gets a stamp on his mobilisation card after receiving his weapon. The more efficient equipping process means that the soldiers will now have more time to go through currency training in soldiering fundamentals to better prepare them for the fight. These include shooting practice, basic first aid and chemical defence drills. In times of real war and all, uh, weapons are ready, everything else is ready, we are ready to go. Once the NS men have completed their equipping and currency training, the exercise comes to a close and they proceed to return their equipment and weapons. Under the current MEC system, each NS man can expect to spend less than six hours at a mobilisation exercise. One of our key objectives was to create what we call a positive experience for the NS man. We want to make sure that by the time he comes in and stays here and by the time he gets out, he goes back with something that he can say to his wife or girlfriend or children, you know, when they ask, so how was it, daddy or darling or whatever, we can say, well, it was good. At the end of the mobilisation, these men and their commanders return home, knowing that if called upon, they will be ready to transform from civilians to operationally ready soldiers in a matter of hours. I think it's all Singapore men's uh, duty okay, to serve the nation. Even though how tired you are, I guess when you are called, you are mobilised, it means uh, you have to put the country in front of you.